I really appreciate you joining me today and this is a breaking news story coming from Birmingham. At 8.30pm yesterday I went to the scene in Handsworth where a car had reportedly crashed into several other vehicles. Body cam footage and dash cam footage has since emerged as well and the police have already obtained this as they said in a statement that has been released an hour ago. There was a lot of speculation to begin with where people were saying that four people were dead. Up to six people at one point were saying that there were victims and fatally injured. And it has now emerged that one person has died, a man, and another arrest has been made after the collision in Soho Road on the 18th of February. The victim is a passenger in a stationary vehicle and he was aged in his 30s and sustained serious injuries and tragically died. Two other people were taken to hospital for injuries. A 25-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving and was taken to hospital himself and will be questioned after treatment. Due to the fact that it's an ongoing investigation, we will try to refrain from any opinions or thoughts on this, but of course, the dash cam footage and the CCTV that has emerged shows an Audi speeding down the road, and this is a 30 mile an hour speed limit on this road. It's a very built up area, a very busy high street in Birmingham. And trying to combat racing in Birmingham is something that the police have been trying to focus on. They recently released a statement to say that there is a massive enforcement operation on illegal street racers. They made several arrests, seized cars and issued warnings. A hundred motorists have been issued with driving offences due to the operation that has took place over the last two months. 13 cars have also been seized for, ha for having no insurance in relation to street racing. And Chief Superintendent Ian Green gave a speech about this in Birmingham. Birmingham recently. The traffic unit team also seized vehicles after a large gathering at a car park near Mucklow's Hill in House Owen. As well as seizing vehicles, they issued Section 59 warnings to the drivers. And if they were spotted driving recklessly in the next 12 months, they could have their cars seized. Civil injunctions that have been put in place around both the Black Country, Birmingham, uh, and across our region to prevent this street racing. They are massively important to us as policing as they give us powers to deal with both. The spectators that attend these illegal street races who encourage the street racing and also to target both the drivers and passengers that are taking place in what is a real scourge on our roads uh, around road safety. We've already in West Midland seen a number of deaths take place that we will attribute to street racing and we've had a large number of arrests over the preceding 12 months. There is a ban on street racing in Birmingham and the black country due to a high court ruling and the focus of the police is to try to maintain this. And with this recent death, it just goes to show that speed really does kill and driving high powered vehicles in built up areas is always gonna have a big risk to it as well. DCI Mark Campbell from Operation Hercules says, we will not tolerate street racing or cruising on the region's roads. People have been killed and seriously injured at these types of events and our ultimate aim is to keep people safe. I so I want to send my condolences to the family of the victim and we'll definitely keep you updated when they're identified and also please pay respects in the comments. In some other news coming from Telford, police found a massive cannabis farm that has been valued at two and a half million pounds. The grow was found after officers received a report of a break-in in an abandoned industrial estate just off the high street in Newport. The police entered the building and found 2,800 mature cannabis plants and it's expected the number will rise as further searches are carried out. They also believed that people were living there and the electricity in the building had been tampered with and nobody was actually found inside and no arrests have been made. Chief Inspector Richard Bailey said cannabis farms like this often lead to serious organised crime and the gangs have a negative impact on the communities and can lead to other localised criminality.